hey y'all i got so many requests on this video because i did it on my tiktok and it went viral so i decided to bring you guys a full tutorial of my air fryer sublimated tumblers if you guys want to see how i created these just keep on watching and i just wanted to come back and just thank everybody for their love and their support and if you guys haven't already don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think about this video so let's get right on into it so the first thing i did was look for a design that i wanted to go on the tumblers i chose two different designs they didn't correlate in any way it was just random um, the first design I chose was a Nipsey Hustle design and I screenshotted it using command, command shift four on my Mac. And I also found a Lysol design and, um, I just downloaded the designs to my computer and saved it to my desktop. Once I downloaded the files and moved them to my desktop, I then opened up Silhouette. Silhouette is a software that I use when I'm doing sublimation. It is free, although I don't have a Silhouette machine. I do use this when I am designing. And as you guys can see, I did measure my tumbler before I um, created the full design because I want to make sure that my measurements were on point and that is the key to sublimation It's just measuring the object that you are sublimating. So of course I use my mini My mini measuring tape that I purchased from single J's which is also where I get most of my blanks for, from I will also link that in the description box So as you guys can see I am measuring from around the cup and from the top to the bottom and once I got the measurements that I will be using, I just inputted that information into Silhouette inside of the toolbar I entered the measurements for the width and I entered the measurements for the height. I did do a little bit more just to give myself some playroom. Once I inputted my measurements correctly, I then proceeded to mirror my image. You always want to make sure that you mirror your image before it's printing because again, it is going on a product and if you don't mirror it it would not be correct so just make sure you mirror it before printing and that is it once you print it the next step would be placing it and taping it on your tumbler Once 
you have printed your image and you have cut off the white borders, you are then going to wrap the printed image around your tumbler. You're going to wrap it as tight as you can and as best as you can. I start taping my tumbler at the seams, which is where the flaps meet. I try to get it as secured and neat as possible but i am still working on that it is a work in progress guys Now here is the fun part. It's time to cook this tumbler. I tried to fit two in there at one time, but it didn't work. So I did one at a time. So every air fryer is different. This is the part where you really have to do like trial and error. Um, so what I do is I put the tumbler inside the air fryer and I kind of look at how I laid it inside of the air fryer. So I started at 375 for three minutes because the maximum time you should cook your tumbler is for six minutes but again every air fryer is different i let it go for three minutes on one side and then i turn it over once the three minutes is up and put it back in there again for another three minutes on the other side so basically one side for three minutes and then the other side for another three minutes at 375 
And once the air fryer is completely done on both sides, I then take it out and let it cool. You want to make sure that you use some heat protecting gloves because trust me, this thing gets really, really hot. So again, I take it out and let it cool because you do not want to touch it while it's hot. And that is all folks i want to thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in with these air fried tumblers and if you guys make them send them to me in a dm i would love to see it thank you guys for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know what else you want to see from lux creations until next time bye Thank you.